Thank you. Thank you, Minister. Mbogo, maybe I also say, weh. Ngida atana mina sema, weh. Oh, I say, and I add, woy. Na naongeza, woy. Amen, amen. What a great Sunday this morning. I am so blessed this morning. The, the prayer Maombi. and to see the third generation of fame. Oh, we love you kids. Wow. Wow. We're looking at the third generation Tunata, of fame. And how many know that the better uh, the, the, the more the generation, the better it becomes. These are going to be great prophets, great preachers, great teachers, great worshippers, great dancers. Oh, come on. Let's give them a God bless your hand. Thank you. Thank you very much. We've come, of course, to the end of the service. But, uh, I, I just sense that... Uh, I'm sure most of us who are watching the television, we were so embarrassed. Extremely embarrassed. I wish every senator, every member of, of parliament can watch today's message. About the foundation. Because all the way Way till now, I have always been thinking that this government is a government of God. Because it's the one we voted for. To our embarrassment. It's a government of fight. I was so concerned. And, and, and I know the politicians in this house, you get disappointed with me today. Instead of us, Majoring on the things that concern us, the economy of the nation, how we can build ourselves, how we can do this, how we can better have better health systems. Yani, you arm yourselves without not giving us a notice. We are also going to arm ourselves in prayer. Because now we are returning. Let me just, can I say something? What are the same Most of us ladies, we may wear makeups, but one thing we are not good at. When you buy a TV, Mr. Gary knows this. When you buy a TV, a decoder, we have a problem of reading instructions. So those who are, of you are married, you are ever asking your husband, how do you fix it? How do you do this? Yet you have a manual book. Women, we are not very good in manual books. My question is, the government of the day. We have heard about the foundation. If the foundation of this, this nation and this government is God, why don't you return to the manual book? So you can fix what you can fix. As a voter, I'm embarrassed. And the next election, you must convince me. We are sick and tired of having noise. We want performers. We want workers. Don't arm yourself like you are going for war. Arm yourself to serve the nation of Kenya and the people who voted for you. We're going to do another prayer. Come here, Minister Herbert. Come on, let's arm ourselves. Somebody must go home again. People must start to go home. Home is where we want to in your village. Don't stop anywhere. We are sending most of you home. We did not vote for you to go and make noise for us. We voted for you to become performers. Oh, come on, the church of Jesus. Make a shout. For three minutes, let's wage war for our nation. Begin to pray. 
Begin to pray for our nation. We refuse noise in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. The poor people are becoming poorer. The economy is getting worse from day to day. Sick people can never get treatment again. Come on, somebody. We cannot watch ourselves going down. Begin to wait war in the name of Jesus. We are returning back to the foundation. This nation, this nation was born through prayer. The government of the day, the government of President William Ruto was birthed through prayer. But today we are in chaos in the name of Jesus. Begin to wage war. This is not what we wanted. This is not what we voted. We did not vote so we can be fighting. Come on, somebody begin to speak. Fight corruption again. Fight corruption in the name of Jesus. Begin to wage war in the name of Jesus. Expose every evil. It does not matter who is committing evil. It does not matter who is corrupt. We are uprooting them and sending them home in the name of Jesus. Wage war for a minute. In the name of Jesus. We refuse, we refuse this conflict. We say no to the devil in the name of Jesus. Kenya is a nation under God. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. As the national anthem of Kenya says, Oh God of all creation, come on somebody. We are turning our nation back to God. We return it back to you God. Oh God, we cannot fix it now. But we know you give us strength. We are asking for your grace and your wisdom that we may re refix our nation in the name of Jesus. Do only what you can do to bring this nation back to order in the name of Jesus. We uproot every evil. We uproot every corruption in the name of Jesus. We uproot every spirit of fight. One more minute. We did not vote for these people to go fight. We voted them for, for them to go and serve our nation. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus. My God. My God. We are not an example to this third generation. We are disgraced to our children. Jesus. Shekata Rabaka Shanda. Approach evil, God Almighty. It is actually us to approach the evil in our nation. In the name of Jesus. Approach the evil. It does not matter who is corrupt. It does not matter who is exercising evil. We approach them from their seats. We send them home in the name of Jesus. We refuse fear in this nation. This is a good nation. Our foundation was firm in the name of Jesus. From the foundation, we build a nation under God. We refuse anything else in the name of Jesus. Come on, one more minute, one more minute, one more minute. Don't get tired, one more minute. Whosoever needs to go, let them go in the name of Jesus. We refuse confusion. We did not vote as a church so we can be in war. We voted so what we can live in peace and in unity. Come on, somebody, in the name of Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody. We have not asked, we have not had them asking for prayer. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, Raseterebo Shakarabasanda.
You shall hear the word of a prophet and you shall prosper. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, let your kingdom come. In the nation of Kenya, let righteousness prevail in our nation in the name of Jesus. Let's commend Kenya in the hands of God in the name of Jesus. We cannot, we can no longer trust politicians. Let's commend our nation into the hands of God in the name of Jesus. He answers prayers. with God for mercy of our nation, our children, our businesses, our people, wherever they are. The shame and embarrassment of our nation. We are sick and tired of being provoked by the sinners. Sinners keep free, keep on every time saying oh we thought this government and this parliament and everything was the church we refuse embarrassment in the house of God today in the name of Jesus let God arise and all his enemies be scattered today we decree that God will arise and all his enemies will be scattered we refuse shame in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks. Oh God. Minister. 